dives, arenas, and everything in between. If you love live music, this video is for you. What's up everyone, Andy Howe here, local realtor, lover of all music that makes me shake and jive, and in today's video, we are talking all things Columbus live music. But before we get into that, please reach down, hit that subscribe button. I love making videos all about Columbus, the cool things you can do here, like checking out some live music. If that interests you, please hit that subscribe button. Now, for those of you that know me, you know I absolutely love music, specifically live music. Spending my 20s out in Colorado in the, in the Front Range in the Denver area, I would go to as many as like five concerts uh, a, a week. And it's a little bit different now. Most, most days now you can, you know, with family and kids, you can find, find me playing that air guitar at home. So straight up, Columbus doesn't have quite the music scene that a place like Denver might. And I think part of that, and most of that is due to geography. You know, a place like Denver, no other big towns around. Whereas Columbus, you've got shirts right between, say, New York and Chicago, but there's also, you know, Detroit, Pittsburgh, uh, Cleveland, Cincinnati, uh, Indianapolis, Louisville that, you know, acts might choose to go to as well. So it makes sense that Columbus might not have the same scene as, as a, a big town or a, a town like on an island. Be that as it may, we have some great venues here. In today's video, I wanna break down my favorite venues and I wanna break it down into a couple categories. First, my favorite category, dives and small venues, then kind of the middle of the road, and then arena rock, right? So let's start off with those small venues, those dive bars. Absolute top of my list is Ace of Cups. It's located right in Old North, just north of Ohio State's campus. This is a converted bank space that just brings in national and, and, and local acts. Uh, one thing is be certain here, don't plan on going if you wanna be a wallflower. Every show I've been to here has been a, an, a rowdy, shoulder to shoulder, roxious affair, so be prepared. Next up, Rumba, also located in the short north. This is probably of all venues that I've been to in Columbus, brings in the most varied acts. You can get some national acts. Most of the time it's, you know, artists kind of on their way up. Probably the weirdest show I've been to in Columbus was at Rumba. It was Bob Log the third. If you don't know Bob Log, check them out. Next is the basement located right here beside us actually in the arena district beside Kemba Live. Small venue, they bring in local and national acts that are kind of on their way up. Check it out if you want a really intimate setting. This is a great venue. Next up, Woodlands Tavern in Grandview. Since 2009, they've been bringing in local and national acts. And a lot of people will tell you that this is the best happy hour in Columbus. I'll let you be the judge of that. But a lot of times you can go to happy hour there. You can take in some live music. It's really great that the venue split up at half of its bar, half of its venue, plenty of room to dance and, and cut a rug. So check that out. Next on my list is an absolute dive in institution located in Old North as well, the ungentrified portion of Old North, Dick's Den, why not? There you can go see some jazz music, primarily they do have some blues artists that come in, so, so check Dick's Den out. And last but not certainly least is Natalie's. There are two Natalie's here in town, one over in Grandview and the other in Worthington. Full disclosure, I've only been to the, the Natalie's in Grandview but it's, it's a great little venue that you can go get some coal fired pizza. You can get a great cocktail, uh, but plan ahead though. They do have reserved seating there and it's more of a, a sit down type, type of place where you can enjoy the music, a great date night spot. Let's move into the, the kind of mid range, what I would call the best of both world size, size venues. For me, that all starts with the Newport Music Hall. Once you walk in there, it feels like you're taking a step back into rock and roll history. That opened way back in 1923, originally as a, as a movie theater. That gave way to one of the famed Agora theaters back into the 70s. Stayed that way until about the, the mid 80s when it was purchased and rebranded as the Newport Music Hall. I've seen some of my favorite shows at the Newport Music Hall and uh, great venue, you gotta go check it out. Next up, uh, Scully's, located in the short north area. Uh, hands down, the best concert I've ever seen was, was at Scully's, it was about 
2013 Black Moth Super Rainbow. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Uh, Pittsburgh band. But anyway, it was just shoulder to shoulder. Everybody was sweaty. Everybody was dancing. And gosh, that's my favorite type of show. Next up, Mershon Auditorium, located right in Ohio State's campus, just down from the Newport in the Wexner Center of the, of the Arts. They bring in national and local acts. My experience, though, is the, these shows tend to be a little bit more subdued. So, uh, Maybe don't go see like an EDM show there. Maybe you have a different experience uh, than me there. If so, drop a comment below. Would love to hear what you thought. Next up, the Park Street Saloon and Patio, located right in the downtown Short North area. Bring in a lot of great acts. I've been to two shows there. Got to see Dr. John and Leon Russell. May they both rest in peace. I had a great time at both shows there. Next up, uh, a and R Music Bar right here. I love the A and R stands for Art and Rock Music Bar. It's it's kind of this uh, part of this campus with the basement and Kemba Live. Most times the A and R Music Bar seems like it's kind of a hangout before and hangout after maybe a Kemba show. They do bring in some really great acts of their own. So that brings me to our last category. That's Arena Rock. Nothing says arenas here like Nationwide Arena, located right in the Arena District. When the Blue Jackets, our local NHL team, aren't playing there, if there's a big artist coming to town they're likely going to be at Nationwide Arena 20,000 seating capacity it's huge and if they're not there they're going to be at the Schottenstein Center located in Ohio State's campus a lot of people just call it the shot they've got 18,000 person seating capacity there so those are going to be your two main uh, go-to's as far as big arena indoors go next up right behind me Kemba Live can you believe this was the first indoor outdoor concert venue in all of America. Who would have thought that would be in Ohio with our, you know, what can be pretty variable weather. But like I said, indoor outdoor venue, a lot of people would tell you at least around Ohio that in, you know, when the weather's really nice, watching a show out there on the lawn is probably the top concert experience in Ohio. Last on the list, certainly not least, is the Bluestone. Full disclosure, I haven't been to the Bluestone. I purchased tickets several times, but because of COVID or, or something to do with family, you know, I've just I've just had to cancel each time. But it's a converted, uh, it was it used to be a church, an old Baptist church, like 120 years old. And they created this, this great music hall. There's three levels in there, like seven bars. It's a great place in town to go see live country music. They do have some electronic music there as well but it's been voted as one of the best places to see live country music in all the country go check it out thanks for watching guys drop a comment below tell me what your favorite place to go see live music is here in columbus tell me what your favorite concert you've seen here in columbus and if you have any questions about concert venues here in columbus what it's like to live here anything at all reach out i love hearing from you guys thanks so much for watching have a great day